In this video, we're going to talk about the tests that Paranoid Fish runs to detect analysis environments so that you have a better understanding of how to harden and evaluate your own analysis tools. Paranoid Fish, or PA Fish, is an open source demonstration tool that uses several techniques to detect malware analysis environments and sandboxes. It replicates what malware will do in the wild by running a number of checks to reveal if it's being analyzed. If a malware sample determines that it's in an analysis environment, it will either shut down or run benign behavior to disguise itself as legitimate. Let's run PAFish and open up the terminal to see what checks are performed. The first check that is run is some basic debugger detections by utilizing two different API functions. Most sandboxes do not utilize in-machine debugging, and, there's, and there are more sophisticated methods to detect debuggers, so in general, these checks are not very useful. Next, it tries different checks to detect the presence of a virtual machine. It runs checks on the timestamps twice and calculates a difference. Hypervisors, by default, intercept these executions, resulting in much higher time differences than on a regular system. Subsequently, it runs another version of the same check by measuring the execution time of the CPU ID instruction. This exploits that on most x86 CPUs, this instruction traps in the hypervisor. The third virtual machine check looks to infer the existence of a hypervisor by reading the CPU's dedicated hypervisor bit. Finally, it checks the CPU vendor string and compares it against its set for KVM, Hyper-V, VMware, and Zen. By using a custom hypervisor, analysts can avoid many of these detections as they can adjust the configuration to provide proper readouts for these checks. Next, PAFish moves on to its generic sandbox checks. Here it looks for the presence of certain artifacts and side effects, which often exist in artificial environments. First, it checks for mouse movements, checking to see if the cursor position has moved within the last two seconds. This isn't a very reliable test as many users do not move their mouse this often. We've encountered even more sophisticated detection in the wild that is looking for jittery mouse movements. Next, it checks the username, file path, and root directory to check if the analysis environment is set up with obvious and lazy names like sandbox, malware, or sample. Afterward, PAFish checks the hardware resources to see if the analysis environment is unrealistic for a normal user, checking things like disk size, number of processors, and RAM. To bypass these checks, analysts must provide their sandboxes realistic resources. Also in this group, we see that PAFish checks to see if there are any patches to the Sleep API. Sandboxes would patch this to avoid malware that remains dormant before taking action so as to outlast the sandbox analysis timeframe. By making these changes, analysts would actually make their environment detectable by the malware. Having full control of the internal timers is necessary to be able to skip ahead without being detectable. After the generic tests, PAFish tests for the presence of hooks or agents, which some sandboxes use to monitor the environment. Like any agent, these can be detected or circumvented, so it is ideal for a sandbox not to have any additional artifacts that can possibly be detected. Next, PAFish does various tests for specific vendors. This includes Sandboxy, Wine, VMware, and VirtualBox. Each of these products have specific non-removable artifacts that can be detected, such as registry keys, MAC addresses, and serial numbers. Overall, PAFish is a great tool to harden your analysis environment or to use when evaluating sandbox vendors. Although the virtualization tests are not as relevant as they once were, malware still aims at detecting sandbox artifacts. Today's malware authors are, use increasingly sophisticated means to detect analysis environments. So it's important for sandbox vendors to decrease their attack surface while also maintaining and improving upon their monitoring capabilities. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to see more VMRI videos.